Hello friends, myself R.D. Mahajan, Assistant Professor, MIT, Arambar, presenting my video on parametric curve tracing. Let us see the next example. Trace the curve, x is equals to a theta minus sin theta and y is equals to a into 1 minus cos theta with full justification. Applying the procedure, as it is parametric curve, we follow the procedure. First point, symmetry. Replacing theta by minus theta here. Replacing theta by minus theta in the equation, we get uh, that x is equals to e theta is replaced by minus theta sine of minus theta and that is equals to sin minus theta is minus sin theta therefore it becomes a into minus theta plus sin theta uh, from this we take minus and common we get theta minus sin theta therefore same function but with negative sign and therefore, x is an OR function. Then we go for y. y is equals to here a into 1 minus cos of minus theta. And that is equals to uh, cos minus theta is cos theta and therefore it is 1 minus cos of theta no change in the term or that equation remains as it is and therefore y is an even function and therefore as y even x is an odd therefore Curve is symmetrical. Curve is symmetrical about y axis. Whatever the curve we have to complete, we have to trace, it must be symmetrical to y axis. First point. Then uh, we go for the second point. Where to make a table. Uh, we consider values of theta, corresponding value of x, x is equals to a into theta minus sine theta. y is equals to a into 1 minus cos theta point xy and then value of dy by dx. The values of theta is 0, pi by 2 and pi and then try to compare the table uh, when theta is 0 uh, this becomes 0 minus sin 0, sin 0 is 0, 0 minus 0 is 0, therefore x is 0. Uh, cos 0 is 1, 1 minus 1, once again 0, the point is 0, 0. Then when theta is pi by 2, 
it is a pi by 2 minus 1 and if we substitute the value of pi as 3.14 by 2 minus 1 it is coming as approximately 0.6 e then cos of pi by 2 cos pi by 2 0 1 minus 0 is 1 into e therefore that point is e uh, point which we have to plot is x coordinate is 0.6 e and corresponding y is e last point when theta is pi sin pi is 0 therefore it is a pi and a pi means 3.14 e uh, cos of pi cos pi is minus 1 minus minus is become plus 1 1 plus 1 we get 2a and therefore that point is 3.14 e and 2a then uh, dy by dx we try to calculate that dy by dx uh, as y dot upon x dot y dot means differentiating this with respect to theta e uh, derivative of cos is minus 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 it becomes plus sine theta Uh, differentiating x with respect to theta that is 1 derivative of sine is cos 1 minus cos theta uh, a get cancelled uh, sine theta we can write down as 2 sine theta by 2 cos theta by 2 and divided by uh, 1 minus cos theta is 2 sine square theta by 2 2 to get cancelled uh, sin, 1 sine get cancelled cos by sine we get cot of theta by 2 therefore that value is here it is cot theta by 2 and then uh, we try to find out this slope for all this theta when theta is 0 it is cot 0 cot 0 is one by tan 0 tan 0 is 0 1 by 0 we get infinity therefore cot of 0 is infinity uh, cot of pi by 4 it is 1 and cot of pi by 2 1 upon tan pi by 2 tan pi by 2 is 0 oh, sorry 1 by uh, tan pi by 2 1 by infinity 1 by infinity is 0 therefore these are the slopes corresponding to that point And then after preparing this table, uh, we have to plot this point in xy coordinate system to obtain the figure. Uh, we consider the value uh, this has x axis uh, this has y axis uh, origin the maximum value of x is 3.148 therefore by some 
uh, suitable scale uh, it is a 2a 3a and y maximum is 2a therefore a 2a and uh, plotting the points first one is 0 0 origin is one of the point second one is 0.6 a a 0 0.5 0 0.6 somewhere here and the corresponding value is a next is 3.14 a to a 3.3 a 3.14 a approximately here and the corresponding value of y is 2 a okay uh, this one is a 2 a 3 a a 2 a then uh, showing the tangent at this point at origin tangent slope is infinity means that line must be the perpendicular this is the tangent with slope as infinity at the second point slope is 1 means making an angle of 45 degree with x axis uh, this is this tangent and at third point tangent slope is 0 means horizontal or a line parallel to x axis okay therefore these are the three different tangents then uh, join this point uh, taking care that we have to join the points of uh, touching the curve in that particular point only it will not intersect anywhere this tangent therefore uh, joining origin to this point this to this point uh, uh, we get half part of the curve Uh, symmetrical about y axis therefore we can extend on this side but don't make uh, this type of curve it is not giving a complete cycle therefore as the curve is symmetrical about y axis it is symmetrical to the line parallel to y axis Therefore, we make a curve which is symmetrical to uh, this y-axis, a line parallel to y-axis on this side. Therefore, 4a, 5a, 6a and here. Therefore, we make a symmetrical part. This is one complete cycle. We can extend on this side. Uh, this becomes the tangent. Uh, a common tangent to these two parts. Therefore, this point becomes a curse point.
uh, another curse uh, this point becomes the vertex point and this line x axis becomes the base uh point 00 for theta equals to zero we get origin and this point uh 3.1482a for theta is equals to pi for theta equals to pi therefore uh, remember this values of theta as a limit whenever we use this curve in application of multiple integral therefore the first limit is theta is equals to 0 lower limit upper limit theta is equals to pi therefore this values are uh, important values while performing the integration or uh, that is the main use therefore this is the curve as shown in the figure curve as shown in the figure therefore this is the uh, another cycloid in the previous part i have explained one more therefore total i have explained two out of four therefore using this you can complete the remaining two in my next video i will go for the third type uh, polar curve tracing therefore if you are watching my videos please like and share it as well as subscribe to my channel thank you Thank you.